high on the cliff tops of southwest Ireland, facing the Atlantic Ocean, is a place named Zogshanbera. Here, the ancient wisdom of Tibetan Buddhism is being brought to the West, studied and practiced by the small community that lives and works here. Zogshanbera welcomes visitors from all over the world, many of them attracted simply by the beauty and tranquility of the place. Within three days of being here, I, I decided this, this is a place where I want to bring Jackie. I'm looking after my partner, who is dying with motor neuron disease, ALS. It's incurable, it's always terminal, and it has a very short life expectancy, around six months to four years. The goal of Zogshanbera's spiritual care center is to build a facility that will meet two important needs. Regular training and support for health professionals who work with the elderly and the dying, and a place for people facing illness, death, or bereavement to come and stay. The first stage of it is to create a, a respite center where people can come long before they're dying to just have a break. So the carers, the friends or family who are looking after somebody seriously ill can come for a week at a time or even a month at a time and have some hours of support where someone is looking after the person who's ill and they can have a bit of a holiday and enjoy nature and relax and, and relieve and heal their own burnout and their own exhaustion. Jackie and her family are among the first to use Zogshanbera for respite care. Jackie has a 21-year-old daughter, Layla, from a previous relationship. Do you want a drink to go with it? Uh, um, uh, level up. Okay. What me and my mum are getting from being here is actually time to spend together. The place has been very, very magical. All right. The front of the apartment that we have is windows with a, an open view of the ocean. Nature at its best, really. It's wonderful. I mean, there's... I don't think you could sort of uh, come to a more beautiful place wherever you go to. Zogshanbera's 150 acres of rugged farmland were bought in 1973 by Peter Cornish and his wife Harriet. Their vision was to create a place that might cater for the forgotten spiritual needs of people in the West. In 1987, Peter and Harriet invited Sogyal Rinpoche to become spiritual director of Zogshanbera. Rinpoche is the founder of Rigpa, an international Buddhist organization and author of the best-selling Tibetan Book of Living and Dying. Rest in natural great peace. This exhausted mind. Somehow the Dzogchen bearer reflects that, that rest, to find that the natural great peace, which is in us, but which actually been obscured. That to find the space, the environment in which we may find that peace that comfort, that ease, and that freedom. Well, Dzogchen Bera will be perhaps the one of the first places where we can actually provide an environment in which those who are nearing death may come here to find time to reflect, to come to terms with life. And I hope slowly that we'll be able to provide that kind of space where everybody can find their own spirituality here, find themselves, find understanding, and really thereby find meaning in life, and then hope in death. We've started learning some very basic techniques, a basic sense of mindfulness, to really let this, um, this whirlwind of your mind settle. It's... Um, such a relief when that happens. It's very important that these teachings are not 
trying to bring or make people into Buddhists. <laughs> There's no kind of excruciative conversion, but rather to bring to each and everyone a spiritual help that is really rooted in their own spiritual tradition. And what is wonderful about these teachings is that they are non-denominational. You don't have to become a Buddhist to benefit from these teachings. I, as a Catholic, can benefit from them as well as anybody else, with or without a belief. They're very skilled practices to help care for the dying, for the sick, and for the bereaved. And this is something that I found very helpful. Once we have a center where we can really allow people to die with the best physical, emotional, and spiritual care possible that I could imagine, that then when medical professionals come here to train in how to care for the dying, how to offer this type of care, it won't be something that they've just read about in a book anymore, but they'll actually be able to observe it in the facility that we create. They'll get to see what that kind of environment is and what a difference it makes in the minds of the dying person and in their family members and even in the bereavement. I think we're very lucky because I think some probably lose people they love and, and, and don't have the time to really get to know them in the way that we have. I really feel I was in the right place at the right time. I met some wonderful people at Zogshambera and I would happily end this life there. I hope Zogshambera will realize their dream of a spiritual care center. It will give meaning to a lot of people's lives. The place and people are always in my heart. Love and peace to you all.